What's up folks, my name is Felix, welcome back to a new video, the third part of my Celestia or Tia token airdrop strategy to farm all the airdrops in the ecosystem which get distributed to tier stakers and that by farming even more airdrops for example on Milky Way or the platform I want to show you in this video. The full strategy builds on Milky Way, that's why you should have at least watched my last few videos where I talked for example, here about my best Celestia or tier token airdrop strategy, why I sold, for example, my Manta NFT and bought tier tokens for it. And then I made a video specifically about Milky Way and said here, you need your stake your tier tokens here. That's why the starting point for this video is that you have tier tokens, you stake them into Milky Way and you got milk tier tokens. And I will show you exactly now what we want to do with those milk tier tokens to leverage our position to farm another airdrop in the Celestia ecosystem as well as get a bigger milk tier airdrop and also a bigger airdrop from all the other projects which allocate an airdrop for tier stakers because that's what we are doing here in Milky Way. So the first thing you want to obviously do here is connecting your wallet. I'm using the Leap wallet for this guy because I'm farming this airdrop on different wallets. If that's why I'm using the Leap wallet here you can obviously also use the Kepler wallet. So if we connect, you can see I got a staked amount of 19.7 milk tier on this account. And now we want to take those milk tier and lend them on the money market Demex. They just had a Twitter space with the Milky Way team and are the first platform which offer lending for milk tier tokens. And you can borrow, for example, tier tokens, atom tokens or whatever you want to borrow against this collateral. You will of course find the link to it down in the description box and the first thing you want to do here is click on launch app which will lead you over to the trading page that's why you want to navigate to so-called Nitron or land on you just click on here connect your wallet so again my leap wallet in this case I've heard that it doesn't work on mobile so you should use the desktop version of your leap wallet or your Kepler wallet and you just click on connect here and we should then see all the lending and borrowing positions. You will have a short tutorial. If the site is not loading immediately, you can also, for example, choose another node up here. So just switch the node, press F5 on your keyboard if you use Windows, and you should see all the positions. And what we now want to do here is lend our milk tier on the platform. But the thing is, Demex is running on the carbon network in the Cosmos ecosystem. That's why we have to transfer our funds over to this network. And we can do that through a few simple steps, which I want to show you now. And the platform used for it is Osmosis, which is basically the hub in the Cosmos ecosystem where you can swap all the tokens. First thing you want to do here again, of course, connect your wallet, in my case, Leap wallet, clicking on connect here. And then we want to get the native token for the carbon network to pay the transaction fees over there. Therefore, you can, for example, choose your milk tier tokens, which you have available. And in the second step, we want to search for the SWTH token, which is again, the native token of the carbon network. And here it just requires around 0 0.01 milk tier token, where you get 14 cents or 22.4 of the SWTH token. You just want to click on swap approve the transaction and that's already it. Make sure your transaction fee is set to low. Obviously you need some atom or osmosis for a guest to get the transaction through. So you just click on approve right here and then the transaction should just take a few seconds and then you got the SWTH token. As you now saw live it went through. And what we now want to do is we want to come over to ibc.fun. I think that's the most easiest page to get your tokens over to the carbon network. And that's why we want to connect our wallet here first. Shows your wallet, in my case again, the Leap wallet. Connecting this here. Then I want to choose, of course, the Osmosis chain because my milk tier are currently on the Osmosis chain. Then I choose milk tier and I want to send them over to carbon again to my milk here once you chose them you can click again on connect wallet because you need to accept the, all the other networks as well then you click on max and here you need again to click on connect wallet to add the carbon chain connected and then you can go on preview route and click on submit down here this should also take just a few seconds and below one cent in transaction fees we're gonna approve this 
And once the seed transfer was successful, we of course want to also send our just purchased SWTH token over to have some gas on this chain. So we choose SWTH on Osmosis as well as on the carbon chain. We click on Max and go on Preview Root. Then we also click on Submit here. In this case, it says insufficient balance and you just want to go back and delete some of the decimals and then it should work. Then we can click on Submit approve it in our wallet and then we are set once this transaction is also done. So now our assets are all on the right network. Now we can go back to a Demex and start here to lend our milk tier token. What we want to do here, as mentioned at the beginning, you just go to lend, choose your milk tier tokens. Here in this case, if you have it on the right network, it should show it available in your wallet, which are those 19.7. I just want to click on max. And if you want to use all of your tokens as collateral, you just click into this box. If you just want to use half of it and just type in, for example, 10, I want to use all of it as collateral. That's why I'm picking the box here and just click on lend, which requires you to again approve two transactions. The first one is free to have access to your SWTH token. And the second one will cost you one SWTH token, as you will see here in a few seconds. And we also want to prove this. So this is below one cent. We also want to prove this. And then your milk tier should be deposited here on the platform. And you can now borrow assets against it. Now it says transaction success. We want to go back to Nitron or to the lending section. And there you can see my lending position, my milk tier, those 19.7. And what we can do now is borrow some assets against it. Here, in this case, I would borrow tier tokens. The borrowing rate is pretty low right now. Before I started recording this video, this lending rate was over 200%, but now it went down because this just went live around three to four hours ago. And what you want to do now is lend those assets against it. You can, of course, also lend another asset. In this case, we want to leverage our tier positions. That's why I want to lend some tier. The maximum are 60% of your lended amount but you don't want to borrow all of it. In my case, I just want to do 60 or 70% of those 60%. So around eight or nine, maximum nine tier tokens. That's what I would type in here. So eight tier tokens, I would confirm the transaction here, approve it again. And then I should have my tier tokens available on the wallet. It shows already borrow success. And if we again go back to Nitron, it should show up here and you should have those tier tokens again available on your wallet and what we could do for example now is stake them on milky way or into validators or into other projects that's completely up to you i will definitely record also a part four as more and more platforms give us access to lend our milk tier tokens or do other fun things with it as demex is the first one that listed it and has no own token yet i will definitely use demex in the long run until they have their airdrop but i think that's pretty obvious so if you have any questions about all of it feel free to drop it below this video we also have a community telegram group where you can share your thoughts or ask any questions if you like today's overview or the step-by-step -step guide feel free to drop a like and if you don't want to miss future content on such kind of topics feel free to also drop a subscribe thanks for watching and see you in my next video